Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Python interview question for DevOps. Now, as you can see on my screen, today is day 11th and we are going to talk about these two programs today. So we have leveled up a bit today from today, like you, you have been seeing that in the last 10 days, we have discussed about the programs that are very basic in nature or a little bit, a very, very little difficulty. Now from today, we'll level up the difficulty and in order to start that, we'll start with a very simple program and after that in the second program we'll level up the difficulty so that's we are going to do today so the first program that we are going to discuss today is how to find the count of the digits of a number so for example if you give an input like one two three four so one two three four has four digits so the answer should be four now uh, there are methods to do that but if an interviewer asks you that i do not want to use any kind of inbuilt method i want you to create a method i want you to write the code so you will be doing this Okay, the second program we are going to talk about is the most commonly asked in an interviews and even I have faced this and I have asked this to a lot of people. So the next question would be Armstrong number. So what exactly is the Armstrong number? So if you can see on my screen, this Armstrong number is like represented if A, B, C, D, then P, O, W is power, A is the first number and N is the number of digits basically. So A, B, C, D is four digits. So A raised to the power four. So you have to multiply it four times for it and another for P O W B N and then C N and then D N. So A B C D are the number of digits. Now, if you will, if you are not understanding this, this is an example for it. So 153 is an Armstrong number. So we have divided into one, five and three, which is one, five and three. You can see on the screen. Now this one is multiplied by three times which is the order order means the number of the digits so one two three is the order so into three times so five into three times and three into three times so one if you'll multiply any number of times it will give only one and then five 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 will give you 125 which is a cube and then three into three into three will give you 27 and then 153 is the total so 153 is equal to this 153 if you have if you will calculate this math. So this is what exactly a Armstrong number is. So now we are going to find this through a program. So let's dive right into the demo part. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, this is the first program that we are going to talk about. Now here is an interesting thing about today's lecture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the Armstrong. So I'll be running through you through these iterations, first iteration, second iteration and third iteration. And I have checked in this code as well so that it would be easy for you to understand. I'll try to put this on every video if that is too much difficult so that it does not, uh, it does not, it, it is not difficult for you to understand. Plus if the iteration is very small, I'll put that something like this in the form of comments in the, in the program itself. Okay. So let's begin. So uh, you can see that I have written a function over here. Let's not talk about this right now. I'll talk about the driver code. So what I'm going to do over here is I am taking an input from the user to please enter a number. So he's going to enter any number over here and then I'm converting it into int. Okay, so this is one important step. Otherwise there would be an issue when you're going to compare it over here. Now I'll be taking a final count and I'm declaring this variable by calling the sum of number and passing the variable or a parameter through my number, which is this, which you are going to enter and then it is going to pass over here. So basically this is a driver code. And after that, whatever value this function would return, I'll be going to use it over here and then print it over here. Okay, that's it. Let's dive right into the function. Okay, so this is the function sum of num. The value came over here, count equal to zero, while my number, whatever number I have given is greater than zero. All you have to do is my number equal to my number divide by 10. That's all. That's that's the one condition. It's that easy. And then increase the count by one. I have already given count equal to zero. We have declared it and then it will it is going to count. So let's do this and understand. OK, so right now I'm into day 11. Let me hit tab uh, sum of digits as the number enter and then it is going to ask me a value. So I'll give one, two, three, four and I'll walk you through. So the total number is four, which is perfect, which is great. I'll just run one more. So I'll just run it again. So I'll give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And you can give any number as you want. And the answer is 10, which is perfectly correct. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the use case. So let's give one, two, three, four, and then answer is four. Now what happens to the first iteration is the value. Now compare this with this. My number, this is my number. This is my number. This is my number. And this, 
the control goes from right to left so 1 2 3 4 when divided by 10 will give you 123 so the new value of my number will become 123 and as soon as it go inside it will give the value to count as 1 earlier it was 0 now it is 1 and how does it go inside i am using a while loop over here and it is comparing the value so 1 2 3 4 is greater than 0 obviously so that's why it went inside in the second iteration what is going to happen it is going to reduce the value to 12 so ideally this should be 1 2 3 okay so this should be 1 2 3 because this is going to pass value over here in the second iteration and the last value would be 12 now the count will become 2 okay in the third iteration what will happen this 12 is going to go over here and then it is divided by 10 it will give a value of 1 count becomes 3 now you can calculate the for 4 on yourself i mean i want you to do it i have not written it so it will happen over here iteration 4 the value will be 1 divided by 10 and then the my value which is sorry my number which is this will become 0 in the fourth iteration and then when it goes over here while number is greater than 0 so in the fourth iteration number is not greater than 0 so it won't the value won't go to 5 and the max value uh, the max value will be sorry in the fourth iteration the value of count will become 4 but it'll, because it will go inside but as soon as it comes over here the count uh, it will become 4 and then in the next iteration what will happen this my value in the fourth iteration sorry the value of this my number will become 0 and in the next iteration which is the fifth iteration what will happen it is going to compare my number is greater than 0 no it is not because my number has become 0 in the fourth iteration so you have to calculate through here okay i want you to do it if you have a problem use a pen and a paper and then do it and i hope you guys are all smart and then you can do it here itself okay do that over here and check in the code so that's how we got the answer as for now i understand there are multiple methods already available but i have asked you to write this because a programmer should know how to do things instead of using a lot of internal programs uh internal built-in methods they are for us but if you know the logic behind it and the interviewer asks you that you would be able to crack the interview in no time okay so i hope this is clear to you right now we are going to discuss armstrong which is the most important program these days now you already know the logic of an armstrong program an armstrong number so what we are going to do it i'm going to ask an input from the user please enter any number and then i'm going to make a call to this check armstrong okay that's all you have to do now let me clear this so i'll just clear the screen my next program is let me type 02 hit tab enter now it is going to ask me enter any number so there is a list for that but i'm not going to pull it up right now so what is happening i'm going to enter a value one five three over here okay and that would be my use case and i'm going to discuss it that way what is going to happen as soon as it goes the value over here it is going to make a call to this check armstrong it is come it is going to come over here the value would be 153 over here and then this count will uh, it is not uh, it is going to count the number for the uh, for my number so after that this my number will go over here in temp okay so this is the count that we are going to use because this is the number of time that we are going to multiply our last digit okay now this is something that we calculated in the last program but there are already methods for that so that's how you can do it in one line but in the last program i was just telling you the logic okay so this count will get the number so if i know my number is 153 so the count of my total digits would be 153 would be 3 so 3 is the number of count that i have to multiply each and every digit okay understood till here now we are going to introduce a new variable which is temp and my number would be equal to temp because later we have to compare the existing number and the calculated number is equal or not and on the basis of that we have to answer whether our number is an armstrong number or not okay now i'm going to take sum over here because i have to add each and every value by multiplying into the number of times which is also the or also called as the order okay so my program starts from here while temp does not equal to zero I'm going to take a last digit from the number so my number would be one two three four okay let's let me explain you the logic first of all let me explain you the logic over here and then i'll go to the iteration so last digit temp this will give the modulus operator in the last digit 
after that i am multiplying that last digit into the count which i got from here and then adding that value so sum right now is zero in the first iteration and in the second iteration it would be the sum of these digit okay and after that floor division will come which update number with the second last digit as the last digit okay after the iteration what will happen over here it is going to compare whether the sum which is this which we have calculated and the entered number which we have passed from here is equal or not if it's equal then entered number is an armstrong number otherwise entered number is not an armstrong number okay so that's all we have to do so let me explain you through a example so when 153 comes over here so i already explained that 153 is an armstrong number so you can see that the answer comes over here is enter number is an armstrong number now how it, it is happening over here so 153 is a number in the first iteration what has happened the last digit will be taken as 3 and you know the code you can just uh, write it down and then compare with this iteration so the last digit would be 3 the sum is already 0 so 0 is going to come here then 3 into 3 into 3 is 27 okay so the sum will become 27 in this first iteration in the temp it will be 153 divided by 10 which is 15 so the 10 will be temp will become 15 in the second iteration last digit would be 5 which is the second last digit okay and in the sum 27 comes from here and 5 into 5 into 5 is 125 which is going to added and then it would be 152 now sum is equal to 152 and the temp is 15 divided by 10 equal equal to 1 so temp value would win in the third iteration what will happen last digit is 1 So sum equal to 152 plus 1 into 1 into 1. Multiply it any number of times. It would be one only. It will become 153. And then temp one divided by 10 equal to zero. And as soon as zero comes over here, temp does not equal to zero. It is going to be fulfilled. But my last value is zero. So zero equal to zero. So the condition is not getting fulfilled. It is going to come out of this while loop and it is going to come over here. then it will compare the sum which is 153 as i already showed over here okay sum is 153 and it is going to compare this sum with my number which is this and i already gave 153 around here and it is going to print a armstrong number over here okay so that is how it's done take a pause over here i i i'm saying this just pause the video over here understand the logic and see what is happening over here draw it in paper what is exactly happening you can draw the boxes and then place the value here and there you can write down the code and then try writing your own iteration and try to understand it this way okay let me take one more example of armstrong i think 1653 i guess why 54 it's not an armstrong number okay but if you want to really pull up uh, digits then you can write armstrong numbers numbers okay so i think i made some mistake so let me remove this armstrong number list you can take the list and there is one interesting thing about this is that from 1 to 9 every number is an armstrong number because it is going to multiply like that and then let's say this is 1634 okay let me try this so if i go over here back 1634 i tried 1644 right let me try 1634 1634 over here enter and you can see that entered number is an armstrong number so i hope you guys have understood it so guys uh, i have taken a lot of time to uh, explain you these things and i want you to take a pause over here and understand what is happening over here that makes it easier for you to understand and it will go uh, a long way so if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one